guys, do you remember the strawberry shortcake bars from the ice cream truck? Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy homemade version. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love and today we are making the ultimate ice cream bars. So these are the strawberry shortcake bars that I don't know about you, but I used to get them from the ice cream man. This was literally the ice cream bar I used to get all the time um, right after the big sticks. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys remember the big sticks, the shortcake bar, the strawberry shortcake bars. These are them. They had the strawberry and they had the chocolate. I think the strawberry beats the chocolate by a landslide, but we're making them low carb and high protein. So I have my ingredients laid out here. We are using Greek yogurt. You already know I'm all about making healthy desserts that taste delicious and that are still good for us. So these are nutritious. We're doing the Greek yogurt. We have some fresh strawberries. I'm gonna go over all the ingredients as I put everything in. We're gonna start off by blending our two main ingredients, which is our yogurt and our strawberries. We are gonna sweeten it with a little sugar-free honey and some vanilla, okay? So I'm gonna do it in my small blender. If you have a big blender or you wanna make like a huge batch of this, because trust me guys, you are going to be obsessed. We're gonna add in our fresh strawberries. Probably gonna cut this in two batches. Our sugar-free honey. A little vanilla. And let's blend this. Okay. And we don't need to add any additional liquid because the strawberries do have, you know, they do have a lot of water. So you will see that it thins it out. It thins out the yogurt for us. So let's go ahead and pour this right in. And you don't wanna fill it up all the way because once the popsicle stick goes in, it will rise a tiny bit. All right guys, so I'm just gonna finish the rest and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now I've pretty much filled them almost to the very top, but you don't wanna overfill because when these go in, then it'll just create like a big fat mess. So we don't want that. Now I'm just gonna place the cover right on top. And then you kind of just seal the little guy. And this is gonna go right into the freezer. So it's probably gonna take, I would say two to three hours to set. Of course you can leave it longer than that, but that's how long this should take to set. So once it's done, then I will show you how these are going to transform into our strawberry shortcake bars, okay? So let's get these in and we'll be back in about two, three hours. All right guys, so... We have a little situation here. <laughs> I don't know how this is supposed to work because at the end of the day, you have your, you know, the mold, which comes with the little lid and the popsicle sticks, right? That is it. So I, we filled them up. I placed the, I placed the lid that has the molds inside. I didn't think too much into it, but here is the situation we have. So they are all stuck onto, they're still all stuck onto the lid. So if I take out the lid, they're all the popsicles are just gonna be sticking out. <laughs> so I'm assuming that this is maybe just like a storage situation, right? So that you don't lose all the little popsicle sticks. Not to worry, we're still gonna make it work. I'm gonna probably just take them all out, take out the little popsicle sticks and then put them back in. But um, I thought it was just funny that this happened because I was gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave these linked for you guys, but at least you're not gonna make the same mistake as me. Um, so let me go ahead and get all of these out. And then we are gonna move on to making our strawberry shortcake uh, crumble, okay? So as you can see, they are all stuck together. <laughs> all right guys, so I was able to save most of them. They're in the freezer. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our strawberry shortcake crumble. So we have some vanilla cookies. I'm using a low carb version. I will leave them linked in the description below. You can use whichever vanilla cookies you love. And then I'm also using freezer dried strawberries. And this is like, just think of the um, special K cereal, the little freezer dried strawberries. That's exactly what these taste like. So all we're gonna do is put in our vanilla cookies, toss in our freezer dried strawberries, and we're gonna crush. 
just using whatever I have on hand. If you have a rolling pin, use that. You can have your kiddos help you if you have like little, little kids, they'll really enjoy this. Kids always like helping in the kitchen, you know? So you don't wanna have big crumbles in there because I'm just gonna use a cup because they're not gonna stick onto the ice cream. So almost there. You almost want it dusty, you know, with a little, not dusty, but you just want it really finely, finely crushed. All right. That looks good enough to me. All right, guys, I'm gonna grab the ice cream and let's coat it. Okay, we have our ice creams. So now, you just literally toss it right in here. Mine are a little delicate because of the whole situation, guys. We had to even put a different popsicle stick on here. You're gonna wanna press it in with your fingers, especially if you want like the bigger pieces to stick on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them and then I cannot wait to show you how these turn out. All right guys, so you saw the final product. They ended up turning out beautiful. The best part of it all is the taste. They taste so much like the traditional strawberry shortcake bars. Now they did start melting, so I put them back into the freezer. As you can tell, <laughs> it is a little melty, but of course we had to do the taste test. So let's bite right in. Mmm, guys, look at that. Mm. After having to take photos, and um, you know, just do some videos, they just start melting. But at least we were able to get it done. Guys, when you make them at home, trust me, you're not gonna deal with any of this because you're gonna get them right out of the freezer and enjoy. But I cannot wait for you guys to try them. If you miss those strawberry shortcake bars, this is the closest thing you're gonna get to them. The best part of it all is that they're clean ingredients. So you're not gonna get, feel bloated. You're not gonna feel like all icky about what you're putting into your body. and. They taste just like the real deal, I promise you, if not better. So once you make them, come back, comment down below, let me know what you think, guys. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video and this idea, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos just like this one. Guys, if you have friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or even just wanting healthier options to some of their favorite desserts, make sure you share my channel with them. But thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.